Hello Sagittarius, this is your X reading for January 31st through February 6th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius currently. The Nine of Wands, a lot of you guys feel tired. Um, some of you want to continue. Some of you have just like given up like there's nothing else that I can do. I've done everything that I could possibly do and I just, you know, I just want to just move on. Some of you want to like still continue with, um, you know, putting in the effort here. Just kind of taking a breather. Um, but still willing to um, put more into a connection I feel here, okay? Let's see what's currently going on with the person that um, you're thinking about, your ex. Okay, card jumped out there. The magician. Mm. This person is gaining their confidence. They're gaining their confidence back. If they were lacking confidence before, um, they're not anymore. They, they are like becoming quite sure of themselves here. Okay. Let's see what your perception of your ex is. Okay, let's see. That they've laid down the burden. I have two cards that flipped over here. Um, that they're not doing anything else. They're done with this. They're tired. Um, and that they are just, uh, they've taken their hands off of it. Like there's nothing else that they can do. Okay. Like they're finished with it. Hmm. Piscean energy there. Sagittarius as well. We have Gemini, Virgo here. Let's see what your ex's perception is of you. Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like this person thinks that you're really, like, you care for them, but you're not that serious right now. Like, you haven't shown them that, you know, you really are willing to work on this thing, that you're really willing to be there for them, be more um, open and honest with them you know loving to them even okay they feel like sometimes you guys are kind of fickle that sometimes you love them sometimes you don't sometimes you show them that you love them sometimes you don't you know they feel like you're not really all the way in is what i'm getting here okay so let's see how you feel about getting back together here how does sagittarius feel about getting back together sagittarius how do they feel about getting back together I think you definitely love this person. Um, they love you as well. And I think you guys kind of feel like you belong with this person. And um, I, I don't think you see anyone else like being with anyone else here. Okay. You feel like you guys are like um, there's an undeniable pull to this person, connection with this person. Um, I, I really feel like you guys look at this person as your your life partner okay let's see what their feelings are about getting back together here how does Sagittarius X feel about getting back together how do they feel about getting back together might have pentacles they're, they're definitely thinking about it um, but they're really giving it like really careful consideration they're not really trying to just jump back into something here. Um, I feel like I feel like maybe they have kind of pushed you away a little bit, but um, this person's definitely coming back. They definitely they definitely want to be with you. What I'm feeling, um, I think that they feel like you guys will come back together no matter what. And that's the way you, you two have functioned before in the past. Um, Taurus energy here. They're, they're slow moving, but I feel like this person is definitely coming back. Okay. Let's see what you can do to increase your chances here of getting back together. Hmm. I think it's a stand your ground. Um, and what I mean by that is do not lose yourself. Okay. So if you have certain standards, certain morals, um, certain things that you believe, it's for you to stick by that. It's for you to stick by that um, because you can be with someone without losing yourself. So I feel like this is not 
for you guys to lose yourself just to be with this person. Do not give in to things that you don't agree with. Okay? But it's also not to be so defensive either to where you really just push them away. You have to be able to allow them in. Okay? And I think it's just not really, you know, being combative or um, being overly anxious. You know, trying to force things on on them. It's kind of allowing them to do what it is that they feel like, you know, they want to do as far as a connection. Really not pushing them to do it. Okay. And then also not not getting very defensive when they don't do exactly what it is that you want them to do or move as fast as you would like for them to because I feel like um, you think this person is is being way too slow and coming towards you but I definitely see them um, coming towards you energetically for sure and um, physically I, I, I see that but they're not they're not coming in fast they're probably not coming in as fast as you would like for them to okay let's see how they can increase their chances of reconciliation here how can they increase the chances of reconciliation that one wanted to jump they need to decide that this is what they want to do and they need to do it they need to be more proactive um, because they see they know exactly what they want they're leery about it though but the thing is with this two of wands you know in here in this card you know this person has a bird's eye view they see everything that's going on okay and they they are really trying to be 100 percent sure that things are going to work out the way that they want it to but when you take too long, you know that adage that's saying, you study long, you study wrong. But when you do this, and you know exactly what it is that you want, what you do is maybe you allow a little too much time, a little too much space to where the other person moves on, does something differently, and then, you know, your choice is taken away from you. Okay, so the, they need to decide what it is that they want to do and do it. Um, stop being paranoid that things are not going to work out or be 100% the way that they would like for it to be because nothing is 100% in this life. Okay, so, um, but they're, they're paranoid about, you know, if they're going to get everything that they want, how they want it. And that's why they're being so slow because they, they're really trying to... Um, um, they're really trying to figure out, you know, what your steps may be so they can figure out how their steps are going to be. You know, everything that they're doing, I feel like, is very kind of, um, um, what do you call it? They're like a turtle right now, honestly. They're very confident in the fact that you love them and that you'll be there is a thing and you know here again with the two of wands you know do not take things for granted do not take things for granted here and that is their message i feel do not take you guys for granted that you're going to be there because you know there may be a point in time when you're not okay so let's see what the potential outcome is for sagittarius and their ex the potential outcome for Sagittarius and their ex here. The Ten of Cups. Beautiful. The ultimate fulfillment in a relationship. The ultimate happiness here. Um, as long as you guys do the work. Okay. This person needs to not take you for granted. They need not wait too long to decide that um, you know they want to be with you. And come towards you. And you guys not be so defensive um, or like pushing them to do something that they're not comfortable doing. And then once they don't do it, then you guys, you know, you block them energetically by, you know, getting upset, getting irritated with them, you know. So as long as the work is done here, I definitely see you guys um, being together here and being happy together. Maybe even starting a family, getting married here. If you're not already, if you guys are in separation, getting back together. Okay. So we have Piscean energy here, Leo, Cancer, Taurus, um, Aries, 
We have Sagittarius, of course, like yourself, maybe another Sag that you're dealing with, um, Gemini and Virgo energy. Okay, guys? So that is what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.